Do you think Alf Bowden's made it back to Lexington as yet? There was a minute there when I saw him riding off. I thought maybe you and me could join him. That we could all ride home together. Just ride back home. What have you left at home you're so anxious to ride back to? Nothing. Just a passel of memories. Mostly memories of you and me. Of your father, old Asa Childs. We'll stick together, Jack, but we'll get all of it back. Huh. And you're a black magician who can raise the dead, are you? My father's under the dirt to stay. Like that's going to stay, too. It's my finger? Mm-hmm. Well, so it is. And it makes me notable by the loss. You sound pleased. As if that finger had been pestering you for rings. No. It was a fine finger, and I'd rather have it still, but... it was took for me, and it's been at by chickens for sure. And I say... What is the good side to this amputation? And there is one. Name it, Jack. Well, you say one day some Federals catch up to me and kill me in a thicket. Well, they would riddle me and hang me, and no Southern man would find me for weeks or months. And when they did, I'd be bad meat pretty well rotted to a glob. You're scientifically accurate, I'm afraid. I've seen it. I'd be a mysterious gob of rot. And people would say... Who was that? And surely someone would look up and say, why, it's nubbin' fingered Jake Rodell. And then you could go and tell my father I was clearly murdered and he wouldn't be tortured by uncertain wonders. And that's the good of it? Yes, sir, that's the good. <laughs> go to sleep, Jake Rodell. It's time for our winter hibernation. I have gathered the names of loyal Southerners who shall provide for us. We'll group in fours. I'll send word to the beginning of spring for where to rendezvous. We shout to the Evans Farm, boys. That place is about half a mile from the Willards, where there resides a certain Miss Juanita, to whom, if I do not flatter myself, my attentions are not unfavorably regarded. You mean to say we're to spend the winter in Lafayette solely on account that you're sweet on Juanita Willard? Ah, it's a good reason as any, Ducky. Nolan's brought some news from home. Hank Pattison is murdered. Our old neighbor Jansen got him with his gang of militia. The sad, he was a good southern man. What a Thomas. Oh, he is murdered too. And Sally Burgess married a federal from Michigan. <laughs> Her whole family hides their faces. And... Well, Dutchie, that federal Alf Bowden, he rode straight from here and killed your father. He shot him in the neck down by the river, then booted him along Main Street till he died. Spared Alf Bowden. You all know it. He taught him mercy, but he forgot the lesson. My father. My father was a unionist like all the Germans, an unconditional unionist. Well, yeah. But he was mainly known as your father, Dutchie. You got a reputation now.
day, boy. Good day, sir. Cable Levin. George Clyde. Sorry we can't offer you proper hospitality, but with the federal patrols. We're much obliged. Can I ask after Mrs. Ellis? My wife. Uh, she was as well as can be expected. My other Miss Evans, that's Sue Lee. Well, she was a Miss Evans for about three weeks until my son joined our Confederate forces. He was killed in the fight in that independence. Well, we're sorry to hear of it. Yes, well, you boys lay low. We'll come by from time to time with provisions such as there are. We're much obliged. It's never been my main ambition. Uh, we've done much work. I think I've spied an easier way to riches. Spell out this miracle. Well, you just ride on up and take it. Ah. Good old rule. Simple plan. It's a workable method. That is proven. George. You got mud in your eye. <laughs> Rider coming. Well, how do? You must be Miss Evans. I'll bring you some supper. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Charles. Mr. Jack Bull Charles. This is Jake Rodell. And George Cloud, Miss Evans. Uh, Mr. Evans wishes me to apologize for not having sent you food sooner. The Federals have been on the move. Yeah. And don't you call me Miss Evans. My name is Sue Lee Shelley. It's a good one, and I am a widow now. Where can I go back to it and use it? Please pardon me. Won't you come in? It's not much to gaze upon, but I reckon we could have saved some hospitality. George? After me, man. Back this way, ma'am. Excuse me. What are you smiling at? I see to that new. Wait a second. What did you say? I say I looked at him. You better go on in there. Let that woman see your face. Well, damnation, Holt. I think I know best how to handle my personal affairs. Now, you see that lady's mule while I check on what she brung to eat. Excuse the mud, we'll just... Oh, man. Why don't you bushwhack as the gentleman? Uh, we try to make the effort when possible, ma'am. Do you think manners should be dropped in times like these? No, but I don't think horse sense ought to be dropped either. Hmm. It's cold. You're so kind to think of us, ma'am. You men think of us more. You do the good work. I know it's dirty and it's dangerous. Those are good words to hear, ma'am. It's, it's not always we hear them. <laughs> <laughs> 